Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. We vlog every single day. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. She did not tell me she was opening the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> but we are, because it's the first thing we're doing today, um, going to talk about working from home. We're different yeah. people working from home. Um, and we know everybody else is different, but we're just going to give some of our like insight onto how we've been managing and how I manage all the time because I work from home all the time. Yeah, I have a call in 15, so I can't do this right now. Okay, that's why I started by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Alrighty, so I think one of the um the big things about working from home is how you start your day. It's easy to just stay in bed a little bit longer. That's certainly me. I am not somebody who needs to like get up and shower to feel awake or the feel that I need like that that's what I need to do to start my day. But Peter does. Like Peter every day since he's been home gets up, showers and gets ready. I do think that's really helpful for people if you have a hard time waking up. Um, I even feel like if sometimes if I'm feeling maybe a little just like not necessarily down but like need to like get my energy going that getting ready does help but um, in general I am somebody who am fine with wearing my pajamas all day but I do feel like a lot of people need to get ready or take a shower or just a little bit of something to get you motivated to get up um my biggest thing is that i'm not really able to just wake up and get started i mean nobody really wakes up and just like is at work automatically you know you have to get ready and drive and <clears throat> all the steps it takes to get to work so um yeah i so what i do to start my morning is i've actually recently kind of revamped my schedule and that is um, Peter will start the kettle when he leaves and then I kind of just relax a little bit, get the tea started, um, steeping, and then I will be sure that I make the bed, I'll tidy up the apartment, um, I'll do a meditation, I'll do some stretching, um, and that way it kind of gets me awake and um, it's not as like daunting to be like, oh my gosh, I have to wake up and start working right away. This way I'm already productive before my work day even starts, but in a much more casual, laid back way. Um, I know not everybody has the time to do those sorts of things, um, but I find that that really helps my motivation is that if I kind of start slower in the day and then work my way up. But again, that that um routine could be a shower doing your makeup getting ready all of those sorts of things um but so yeah that's how peter and i definitely differ during these times but also two ways that you can feel motivated to get out of bed before you actually have to start your work before peter really gets started i am going to say that a lot of times it's good to have like a situated spot to work. Sometimes I work from the couch if I want, if I need to, if my, if my back is hurting or something. But um, I think it's, I, have you, what do you think about that? Um, I feel more productive when I'm at a station like this, mm -hmm. but I'm having to spend half my day here, half my day on the couch because I run a lot of automations that'll take up my computer. And so I'll relax on the couch with monitoring my programs as they run. Yeah. But yeah. Like, the morning when I have meetings, I have to figure out what's going on in the world. Yeah, productivity is like... Table. Yeah, agreed. The day was going well and very productive. I was actually in the middle of like a, what was supposed to be a 15 minute call with my team, ended up being 45 minutes and they're still on the call. Um, because the power went out again. Gotta figure that out. 
That's a trouble from working from home. That is a trouble from working from home. And I don't have, like, I have a work laptop, but I don't have, um, like, a hotspot to pull in internet to my laptop. And it's not like we could even go to a Starbucks. Or a Theoretically, we could go to a Starbucks, but it's not an option. I'm going to try to avoid that as an option, but I need internet. I was in the middle of doing a bunch of things while on that conference call and my internet bombed out. All right, Sarah's been given some facts, so I thought it'd be my turn. Um, like Sarah, Sarah tips. tips, tips. So Sarah pointed out that like, Sarah does this all the time. I don't do this all the time, but I have been working in a capacity for the past three years where periodically I would be allowed to work remote. So I have a little bit of a thing. And plus, Sarah and I have different personalities. Everybody's different, so everybody needs to tackle working remote differently. Sarah is much more structured than I am. She needs, she sets timers with with our Amazon machine, and I won't say her name so nobody's, all of the machines in the world don't freak out right now. Um, but she sets timers to do things like walk Eve, or to, to start the vlog, or to call, get water, drink lots of water. And another thing she does is FaceTimes her family a lot. And I think we're gonna be doing that a little bit. Whereas myself, I tell myself, and this is even when I'm at the office, this is just being sedentary in an office sense, if you have a day long of meetings or coding or whatever you do of running reports or anything is get up like every hour or so just for like a five minute walk, whether it's walking your dog if you're home. For me, that usually is like getting a cup of coffee at the office or seeing my friends in, my, in a department that I used to work in just to, or see my boss or just chit chat with my team. Right now, I'm gonna use that excuse and make some coffee to get this going for the next a um, little bit and then in this sense then I will not only get a boost of caffeine stretch of the legs stretch of my whole body and it pulls me away from my computer screen just for like five or six minutes so it's super important I think at least for the way I work to get away and I think a lot no matter what you're doing is to just like take a mental break for those like 10 minutes every hour or two well 115 power went out again this is really putting a damper on the day. I really was finally like getting in a groove. So many of my processes take like hours to complete and I just need them to like crank and go and run. And every time I lose power, I lose internet and it disconnects from all my company servers and my processes stop. So that's a huge bummer. But the vlog is up and live, so that's a good win. Yep. And uh... And I have a laptop, which before when we'd lose power, my computer would just shut down. I wouldn't be able to do anything, so I have decent battery. Yeah, we've been keeping our laptops plugged in in anticipation of maybe this happening. So I think right now is a good time to, I guess, eat a lunch. Another important fact for eating and or working it from home: give yourself. Don't forget to give yourself a lunch, like yeah. 30 minutes or an hour, whatever you usually do, away from your work and just manja. Right. I also want to say that we FaceTime. I FaceTime regularly because of like human interaction. But especially now, I think it's important for all of us to, like it's so great that we live in a time where we can FaceTime and are so connected digitally. I think it'd be good for us to go live in the evenings throughout this whole thing yeah. on YouTube or Facebook yeah. or something. If we have internet. If we have but internet. I'm just saying like, yeah. typically when I work from home, it's nice to FaceTime just for some social interaction because I don't have coworkers. Um, probably... But even more so now, just stay in contact with your friends. Life is tough when you're a puppy. All right, the gr another good thing about working from home, though, is being able to have dinner get ready right around the end of your business day right. in some cases. Typically, I start at the end of the business day, but then, like, I have to wait for Peter to get home, so. We're having leftovers? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Evie! She loves rice. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Come on, we'll go to your treat. <laughs> <laughs> So Evie is so intrigued by Peter going in for a meeting. This is one of our last tips and tricks of working from home. I take my meetings with Eve so that she's been able to get used to me being on the phone. But sometimes when things are different, she's very suspicious. And sometimes she'll bark. So that's not always good for meetings. So I don't know, gotta, gotta get used to 
maneuvering work with kids and pets. She looks guilty. So truly, it's just figuring out what works best for you. Um, when I first started working from home, I had a really hard time with Eve um, not wanting me to work, just wanting to play. And um, I mean, over time, we got used to it, but just switch up trying, secluded versus not, versus, you know, I don't know, having them secluded. I don't know. That's, that is a major thing is that there are other living creatures that are going to be around us. Um, but I hope that you try out all the different options and not to give up hope because you'll be able to, you'll be able to figure it out. All right, we're out in society. Eve, and we brought Eve too. Eve's really pumped. <laughs> we are at scenic Lake Ivanhoe, just north of downtown Orlando. Um, I don't think you can walk around this lake. Sarah thought you could, but they got this nice walking path. I run past this sometimes. So we just figured to get some fresh air, bring Eve with, play around a little bit, have a good time. To say Eve is excited is an understatement. She's dragging Sarah all the way up there. Okay, we gotta be careful. There's a there's a mama duck and a duckling over here. I wish I had the other lens on so I can zoom a little bit. Oh! Go to the crossing, little duckling. Eve, girl, you better stay back. Oh. How about that for some happiness in the world? now Eve we're is, all itchy because we exhausted. don't really do nature often i'm actually allergic to grass i'm gonna roll fun fact about us in evergreen park ted kaczynski the unibomber is from evergreen park and we just started um he went to our high school that mini series of unibomber in his own words so he even did crew and in the basement of our theater we're like what is that called like the changing room dressing the, rooms yeah um after you do a show you Let's spray paint your name on the wall or paint doesn't have to be spray paint or paint and um he wrote his name on the wall in pen like scratched it into the wall and nobody has painted over it ted kaczynski yeah so we're watching that and then i'm gonna go on a good long run later around nine is the plan it's like seven o'clock ish now it'll maybe 7 30. yeah we're gonna do my shot yeah and that is a good plan. time out in the little park eve is eve's exhausted She's going to knock out in the next 15 minutes, guaranteed. Oh, sweaty out. 73 with 70% 70 humidity. Feels like 73, it says, but the air is thick. It is thick this evening. I went for it. I'm going to end up doing six miles. I ran deeper into Winter Park. I decided to stop over here rather than Park I am just to give it a little change of pace. Beautiful mansions over I'm running right now. I'm convinced. What do I see? I see some kind of critter. A lot of critters out this evening. It's all a big old possum. Heard some things rustling by some trees. I'm not going to run past on the way home. But another, this is not just for working remote, but just doing this whole social distancing thing. If you can get out, if the weather where you live is good, go out for a walk, 15, 20 minutes even. Vitamin D will help you. Fresh air will help you. Um, I don't know if you can't go outside because of the weather, chase your animals around. They love it. You'll love it. You'll get a little bit of raised heart, right? Just for 10 minutes or so. I know I promise you'll feel better afterwards. And if you don't have a pet, 
just put on some music and dance for a little bit. Put it on your favorite little outcast song maybe. I don't know what your flavor is, but dance a little bit. If you don't have any music, just hum along in your head and put bust a move for a minute. I knew this was coming. So I drank a lot of water today, but I have not had to run through the humidity in months. But I, I welcome it because it's the conditioning that I need. You run through this dirty, thick humidity for months here in Florida, but then come fall when it drops, you end up kicking up your speed without even trying. It's all about how you feel and the power that, it, you know, I forgot the, the stress of it maybe. I don't I think of the word. I gotta go. This is a long clip. So I finished the Unabomber docuseries. It's only four episodes. Peter's still on his run. I FaceTime with my mom. I'm gonna... I'm gonna show Eve in a second. I'm watching um, Silver Linings Playbook now and doing a couple of like fun bingo things that we were tagged on on Instagram. If you're not following us there, those are kind of fun to pass the time. Today is March 18th. Tomorrow is a big old day, St. Joseph's Day. Gotta wear that red. First day of spring, booyah. But before we get there, we gotta do the message from the 18th. Today's is by Andre Geed. Be faithful to which exists within yourself. Here's a quick update on the purple basil from the Flower and Garden Festival. Looking good, growing there. I think I need a haircut, but I go to Floyd's and Floyd's is all closed and we're not supposed to go out. And it's like the opposite of social distract I distancing. I can cut your hair again like I used to in the old. I used to cut my hair when I used to get a, a shape. I'm giving this beard a few more days and then we're going to decide its fate because <laughs> I just don't know how I feel. I don't know how I look, I don't know, but either way, Eve's about to scream at us, so we must say, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>